Hello there and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Saul. Today we're going to make chilli fish bites. Uh, so the first thing we need to make is the batter. Just bear with me a second, we just need to lower this because I'm stressing on something. There we go. So to make a really good batter you need flour. So one cup of flour. So I'm going to put it into a sieve, like so. I'm just going to sieve all these lumps out. So I'm using all-purpose flour or plain flour, as it's commonly known. So I'll just get that done. So we're doing this, so when we start whisking, there's already no, no lumps inside. Because there's nothing worse than lumps of flour in batter. There's nothing worse. It tastes awful. It really does. So there we go. So what else we need is half a cup of milk. Half a cup of ice cold water. and somewhere between quarter and a half teaspoon of uh, bicarbonate of soda. You can use baking powder, but I'm using that, okay? But I'll tell you what else I'm gonna use, and you're gonna think why. Why are you using that? Sorry about this, I completely forgot about this and I've become unprepared. Just bear with me. Right, back at you. So I'm using vinegar from pickled onions. I'm not using a lot, okay? I'm using about between half and three quarter teaspoon of vinegar from pickled, don't use what you don't use what you put on fish and chips, malt, malt vinegar, you want pickling vinegar. And what that does is that it makes the batter very, very crispy. Believe it or not. So I'll give it a good whisk, get it all around. Now you're probably thinking, well, where's this chilli? It's a chilli batter. Well, wait. Stop being impatient. So, my chillies are in here. Just to show you. There you go. Got red and green chillies in there. So, they're going to go in there now. And in here, I've got some coriander, which I nearly dropped. So I always think coriander goes well with chilli. So that's quite thick, is that? It's nice and thick. Just now you want your batter. Move all this. And then you, so what I'm also going to make is a raita, which we'll make later. So that needs to rest. Only for a few minutes, just enough to cut your fish with. So, I'm using, just bear with me because I'm totally disorganised, it's very unprofessional, I do apologise. I'm rushing and that's, what, that's why I'm acting like this. So let's just clean up the chopping board. Okay, turn that over. So what I'm 
I'm using is cod loin or loin of cod. There we go. And the reason why I'm using cod, I mean that's a beautiful piece of cod is that? Absolutely beautiful piece of loin. It's because cod can take a lot of flavour. The hell of a lot of flavour. Uh, if you're going to use fish, use cod. Don't use haddock. Because haddock is quite, although it's a nice fish, it is better than cod, I will admit. Um, haddock is, is, a, is a bit more delicate. So, cod can take a lot of flavour, had it cat. If you, if you can afford monkfish, get a piece of monkfish tail because that, cause that can take flavour as well. Salmon, trout, bream, bat, sea bass, mm, yeah, yeah, a little bit, but cod is the best because it can take flavour. So, you're going to take, so you're just going to cut it, okay, to bite sized chunks. Like so. So I've cut them more or less the same. Now I'm not going to half them because I don't want the I don't want it to break. Because when you cut cod properly, it's nice and flaky. If you cut it too small, it's just going to break up. So just bear with me while I wash my hands. When you're using raw materials like fish, meat, when you're finished, always wash your hands. Basic, it's basic hygiene. Okay, so what I'm going to use to cook it in is that I'm going to use this wok. I'm not using my deep fat fryer because I don't want the um, I don't put oil in the deep fat fryer. I use beef fat, uh, beef dripping to give it that authentic chip chip shop chip shop taste. Can put a little bit more in there. So I'm using rapeseed oil. And what you want to do is that you don't put one piece in at a time. You put quite a few in. So they'll cook evenly and they'll cook together and you want to get it so it's nice and brown. Um, I'm going to give this another stir just to get it ready. So I don't want all the chilli to be at the bottom. So I've just got to wait for that to heat up and that's it. Um, we'll see what they look like when they come out. Um, now I've got a friend, a very good friend, oh, I had to consider a good friend. Um, it's called John Holmes um, and he's a chef, he's a professional chef and uh, he enjoys watching my videos. So this is for you John. This video is for you. Um, it's nice to know that a professional chef watches what I do. Uh, I hope he gets some, some, some ideas. I believe he could be going back into chefing. Um, so I hope he, um, I hope that But somehow it takes something away with us. I'm just trying to get a little drop. See, we should put a drop in there. When that batter lifts and starts cooking, I know the oil. 
oil, I know the oil is hot enough. Now that's just started to lift, it's bubbling slightly. So yeah, I'd say that's ready. So I'll get these in. So I get the first five in. Okay, I'm gonna submerge them like that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, just wash me, get me on the Leave them in there for two or three minutes and turn them. And what I want, I'll have to put that over here. If you're going to use a deep fat fryer, you've got to appreciate that you've got a basket in there. So what you want to do is you want to move the fish around first and dip it in and then fully submerge the fish. The um, reason for that is because if you don't, the batter will stick to the basket that's inside the deep fat fryer and you'll get the basket fresh. Basically, it won't be cut, it be too well cut and the batter will just stick to your basket and it won't look nice either. So they're cooking nicely. So yes, my friend John, um, I believe he's going back into chefing, um, he's been a pub landlord at my local, obviously that's how I know him, uh, he's got a lovely lady called Laura, and um, yeah, they're, they're moving on to past his new, and I wish him the best of luck. So this video is dedicated to you John, obviously you Laura, and yeah, chilli fish cakes, chilli fish bites even, and they do look rather good, I must admit, I'm just going to make sure that bass is nicely done, this is a chunky piece of fish, so we've got to make sure it's cooked properly, last thing we're going to do is give ourselves some, some poison. So, plate, towel to drain off the fat, the oil. Turn them over one more time. I'm just going to put these up over here for the time being. I'll put, put the rest of the fish in. Get these in here. So let's cut up the fish again and put it in. So another five pieces. 
There we go. Just wash my hands. Now I don't know how much chilli is on these. I'm hoping there's some. Let's just turn this around. Another way down so they don't stick to the um, the pad. Let's get these bits of batter out. There we go. Well, I did put on Facebook I was going to make it a shroom gift. And I will make that next. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. I think you can pretty much work out what it is. So. Turn these over again, and then we're done. Turn these over again. Now, I'm going to get one of these fish bites out here, so we'll choose this one for the chain. Choose that one. We'll choose that one. Right, so these are ready. Just set that away there. Right, time for the moment of truth. I'm sorry this is a long video. Might have to skip some of it. So, chili fish bites. So it goes. Mm. And you hear that crunch. Wow. Oh, that crunch is amazing. That's all down to that vinegar. Nice little bit of heat, not a lot. Maybe better off putting it in chilli flakes rather than chillies. But that is banging. Hmm. Wow. That's worth making just for the bloody scraps. Just that. Mmm. Oh, that's hot. No. Amazing. 
So I'm I'm gonna have another. These are just scrumptious. Hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, you've got to make these. Don't make the mistake I did and use fresh chilli. Get some chilli flakes, just get a good handful and just throw them in. Because there's only a little bit of chilli on this, it's not a lot. You put chilli flakes on that, banging, absolutely banging. Mm. The taste of the coriander. That's really coming through. Mm. Oh yeah. Chili fish bites. Don't use fresh chili. Just bang in a really good bloody good handful of chili flakes and bang it in. Mmm. Wow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.